Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna start implementing JWT. So we will just see how to log in and generate tokens of JWT. Okay, so let's jump into computer screen and start coding. So here I am on my computer screen. Now I'll go to account view. So after opening this file, I'll just go to browser. Okay, and here I'll say Django REST framework.org go to guide authentication and uh, here you can see JSON web token authentication just come over here and click on this simple JWT go very down and click on this documentation link okay you can also check this link in description box I'll provide the link in the description box basically so click on this get started okay so first we need to install this simple JWT package so I'll just copy this one um, go to VS code open the terminal and paste that and I will hit enter after that we need to configure this JWT class so I'll just copy this one too okay and uh, go to settings.py okay so the package has been installed all right so i'll just minimize the terminal again and i'll go to bottom of this file and i'll comment this token authentication and paste this one so we are basically uh, configuring this simple jwt authentication globally once this is done scroll very down now I'll copy this one go to account url.py and paste this one okay and these are the two url which we need see this first url is basically used to log in and obtain the token and when the token is expired this url will be used to obtain the new token using refresh token okay i hope this makes sense to you so after configuring this come down if you want to verify you can utilize this one if you wish if you want to verify the token you can use this link and verify the token okay and uh, I'll just copy this one I'm not going to include this okay and I'll go to settings.py again and I'll paste that over here okay so once this is done I'll just clear the terminal and I'll run the server okay now I'll go to thunder client okay go to collections here i have already added the urls so this says jwt login you can see this one okay now my username and password is already inputted okay so if you want to enter you can basically come to body click on this form and write your username over here i mean username variable over here and the value okay again the password and the value of the password okay i hope you got idea and make sure you select the post request i'll zoom this up okay and if i send the request you can see i got the refresh token and access token okay now i'll copy this access token okay i'll go to edge i mean to my browser and i will say jwt.io i'll come over here paste my token and if i say secret base 64 encode and you can see i got this signature verified okay now this is the access token and you can see here it says the token type okay and uh, the expiration and the user id okay 
so our admin user id is one that's why it is showing the one i hope you got idea about this right this shows that our jwt token is encrypted and fully safe okay so minimize this now copy this token again and i will close this one so let me find the view in which we can make the request okay so i'll open this blog underscore app and i will mm, okay i will just create new category using this token so as you can see we have the allocated permission to create the category to admin user since we have admin talk admin permission and token which is generated using the admin credentials it should work so i'll go to thunder client again i'll go to category list now here i'll go to post i'll go to header okay and i'll clear the header now here i'll say authorization now previously we were passing the variable which is named token and then we were pasting our token but this time we need to pass barrier okay so here we will write barrier barrier and then i'll paste the token okay so if i click on post request post request but before that i need to go to body json and i need to pass the category name which is going to be let's say poll if i click on post request you can see i am able to create the category okay so this token is working perfectly fine all right so i hope you got idea about this one okay so let's wait until this token is expired and uh, we will see that how we can generate new token using refresh token okay so i'll wait till this token is expired okay so the token has been expired now so let us go to the account and in this jwt login we got the refresh token right so if i copy this refresh token go to jwt refresh token now here you select post after that go to body form and here i need to write refresh and in in this value i need to pass my refresh token so if i click on send you can see i got new access token so if i copy this access token again go to this comment list view remove this old access token paste new one send the request you can see i got the response okay so i hope you got idea about generating token by using the user credentials base which is basically login okay so in next video we are gonna see that how we can re retrieve the jwt token when the user is creating their account as we were doing previously that we were generating the token i mean the by default token authentication token which is inbuilt in django okay we are going to do same thing but in jwt okay so i hope you got idea about today's uh, concept which i taught you so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you next one thank you